Welcome back to another video and today we are going to be making this Ansu fast poster that I made uh, a few days ago. A lot of you guys like this design and like the, the concept of it so I'm just going to show you a brief understanding of how to make it with the textures that I have uh, linked down below so download those and then we can get straight into the video. Thank you for all the recent support on the videos, it's been great. Uh, we've really been hitting some great numbers on the videos and I hope you're enjoying the content. I'm trying to make it better each time and I think, I think I'm improving and I think you guys are loving it. So uh, let me know in the comments what you think and let's get straight into the video. Okay guys, so first things first, we're gonna need to make our background. So 1080 by 1350, standard for these videos. The next thing we're going to do is get our rectangle tool and we're going to change this to a red color so it doesn't need to be uh, too red just something that's nice and pale so i'm just going to create a rectangle and do that so that's all you need to do for that bit then we're going to go to our textures pack and we're going to go into textures now we can turn the thanks for downloading off open the texture up and we'll see this blue rectangle with a gradient on so i've added this in just to save doing the gradient so if you drag and drop this in and then obviously we can increase the size put it in the middle perfect so it's got all the textures already applied to it and stuff it's got a drop shadow to make it look like it's over the top so we don't need to worry about that too much now what we're going to do is go back into our textures and get the stadium layer so this is going to be down here i've already added an effect to it so we're just going to drag and drop it in and i'll tell you about the effect i've added um if i just increase the size of this a bit make it fit that's good so if i double click this I've added a blend if layer here, so if you drag this, you can obviously see that it fades out more. If I do drag it like so, see? Just fades out into the background a bit more, so I've got it like that. And then I'm also going to apply a screen to, uh, blending option to it, just to make it blend in even more. So it, it looks, it's just a, like a nice element to add in. So that's added in, and now we're gonna get in some uh, texture to put on the background to make it look good. So I've added all these in for you. Uh, you can obviously create these with your own brushes if you would like. But I just thought it'd be nice and easy if I just do this for you, just to add it in. So there we go, we've got a nice little little outline texture type of thing going on. Uh, now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna move this blue bit over a little bit more, so somewhere like there that looks good, just so we've got a nice bit of room to write the text in where we're gonna write it. But obviously, if you want to make uh, it a bit bigger like so, you can just increase the red as well. Just drag that across. There we go, and that looks good. Now, the first thing we're going to do now is get our fatty image. So we're going to drop this image in. So you can turn the texture off and we go down to player images, turn these on, and we'll get this one down here. So you can't see it at the moment because it's in screen blending mode, which uh, is what it's meant to be in for this image. So as you can see, now you can see it. So that's good. So I'll have it about there. Uh, that looks pretty decent. Actually, actually, no, let's make it even bigger. So something like that. There we go. That's, that's nice and nice and big. What you're gonna to need to do is we're gonna get some text and we're gonna position it within this left side. So what I'm gonna do is get my text layer, Anton font, I'm gonna change it to a white texture and I'm just gonna type in um, fatty. So now that we've got the fatty text, what we need to do is minimize it so it fits in this left side here. So something like that, looks good. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to rasterize this type. So if we rasterize it, now if you Command T to can like free transform it, you can click uh, Distort and Perspective. Now I'm gonna click Perspective, and I'm just gonna add this nice little textured effect, look, not texture, sorry, um, distorted effect, just to make it look like it's actually bigger than it is, I guess. So that's really nice. Now we're gonna duplicate this, Command T, move it down, and then we're going to redo this effect just the other way around, like so. And then we can minimize this side, something like that. There we go. Now this doesn't have to be perfect, guys. It's just trial and error. Um, you'll get the hang of it eventually if you don't get it straight away. So basically, we're going to move this one up here. I'm going to move him down, make this one a little bit bigger. So you can see it's really just, like I said, trial and error. It's not hard to do. That's looking quite good. And now we'll just get um, we'll get this last one. Command T. Just make sure you click, keep clicking perspective, otherwise you won't have the uh, the desired effect. So hang on a minute, and make sure you do the right side as well, otherwise it will just look stupid. So that looks good. Now I'm just going to group these together, 
and we're just going to name these uh, distort text. So that's that's nice and simple. Uh, and the first thing that I'm going to do is get so, uh, go over to my image of Ansu Fati on the background. Then I'm going to go to select load selection, click OK, and now we've got him selected. So what you need to do now is go back to your group layer of text and then just click layer mask. Now you're going to need to invert it so it's like that. So that's just Command I, and then it goes behind his face, which looks really clean and really nice. So now that we've got that, we're going to get another texture layer. So it's going to be this one here. It's going to be a pavement texture. Drag and drop it in. Increase the size, and make sure it's over the top of the text, and just clip and mask it to it. So it's going to be exclusion on the blending mode, just so it get, adds a bit of texture to the type, which makes it look really good. Um, and that's about it for that, guys. So we're going to get our text tool again, and we're just going to go Antsu, and we're going to position this down the right side. So it's going to be here. What I'm going to do is reduce the fill, go to blending options, click stroke, and add a two stroke, that looks good. And we're just going to position that about there. That's really nice. Yeah, that's good. And then we can either bring it below uh, this image, but it won't really make a difference because it's already on screen layer. So we'll just leave it like that actually. And now that we've got that, we can add in some more textures. So let's get these two images in. Just going to drag and drop them in. You're going to position this black one. Uh, Quite big in the middle here, and then the smaller one you can sort of you can sort of leave it that that size. That's, that's about right. Doesn't need to be too big. Uh, and we're just going to draw him a little platform in a minute. So we're going to turn those off for now. And I'm just going to get my rectangle tool and take off the fill. I'm just going to draw a rectangle down the middle here. And then we can obviously increase the size and increase the fill if you would like. So I'm going to change this to a two fill. And as you can see, we've got a nice little line going down the middle. So what we're going to need to do now is get our type tool type game day then reduce the size obviously and we can zoom in for this because it's quite intricate and you need to spell game right that would help <laughs> um, there we go so come okay so what you need to do is once you've got your type spelt right you're just going to hold command T position it in between uh, in between these uh, lines then we're going to go command J command T same same principle and just basically copy and paste it up the middle just so we've got a nice little standard effect here. And then we can just select all of it. Command J, Command T, otherwise it's just gonna take forever. And just draw these up the middle like so. There we go. That looks, that looks really nice and good. Uh, we can group these together. Um, middle text. And there we go, we've got a nice little game day down the middle. Now we're gonna to need to go to our textures and get this star group here. Now you won't be able to see it, because obviously again, it's uh, on a white background. And then we can just increase the size of these, put them here, that looks really good. Duplicate them, and we're going to move them up here. Uh, and once once I turn this layer on here, I'm just going to move them down a bit. And I'm going to move all of this below him, there we go. Now we can just select this star's image here, make it really small, it's just going to go by his shoulder here. Just move him below, there we go, that's nice. So got our, all of our layers in now we just need to make this guy a little platform to walk on so if I go to my brushes and I just go down to my free painter brushes now the link will be in the description for these and I'm just gonna create a new layer below him so as you can see I'm just gonna basically make this a bit thinner a bit angled I'm just gonna get a white background like so there we go it's got something to stand on now a little platform and then I'm just gonna get a soft brush, reduce the size of it again, get a black color, create a new layer as well, get a black color and just go by his feet and just paint in black, give him a little shadow and now obviously we can reduce the opacity of this, make it look a bit more realistic, so something like that, look, that looks really good. A few moments later. So now guys, as you can see really quickly we have uh, created this poster. Um, there's a few more textures we can add on top, so if I go back to the texture pack, we can add a uh, paper and another pavement texture over the top of it. So, let's go back to this, drag them both on, and we can position them so they're bigger than the design, basically, just so it has the uh, the effect. Oh, just let that load, turn the paper off, and then let's change the pavement to screen, and reduce the fill to it about 30%, and then turn the paper on, multiply, we can reduce the opacity if you want, but you don't have to. 
And that's basically it, guys. So uh, it's quite a nice, simple poster design. It took me a while to do, actually. But obviously, now I've done it a few times, it's a lot quicker. So what I'm going to do now is do a camera or filter. So command, option, command shift, option E, um, and then go to camera or filter. Now we can just basically play around with this a bit. Just exposure, you can bring up contrast, highlights, shadows, you can play around with basically personal preference at this point so just do what you would like but yeah it's a really nice poster design really clean artwork and it looks really nice um, so we can obviously sharpen it as well and then effects add some grain but yeah it looks really cool a lot of uh, a lot of high contrasting uh, colors um, but we can if there's like a bit of yellow on the design you can reduce this in saturation just go down and luminance as well like so there we go but obviously if you would like the lumens higher you can make it more white but yeah guys so that's pretty that's pretty much it um i've added all that i need to saturation you can change the color of the blue as well if you'd like um go back to color mixer and just make it more lighter blue but yeah it's it's, it's pretty simple so if we go to the side by side just adds a lot more contrast a lot more to the design increases the texture makes it look a bit more realistic and uh yeah that's pretty much it guys, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video, uh, it's a really nice poster design, um, let me know how you get on and obviously link me in some stuff you post on Instagram if you post any um, designs that you've made from this tutorial, uh, but yeah guys, thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one.